I know it might seem that this channel has turned a lot more towards Battlefield gameplay over the last couple of months, but trust me when I say that I still really enjoy playing Call of Duty, and it will always remain a large part of what I do on this channel. I do have to say though that taking the time to learn how to play Battlefield, the different mechanics, strategies and tactics of that game has helped me immensely with my Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. The two games may look similar, but Battlefield forces you to slow down and think about what you're doing a lot more, because the mechanics of the game simply do not let you take on multiple enemies at once and win gunfights unless you're very lucky. With Battlefield, where you position yourself is so, so important, as is working with your team and squad mates, which enables you to take those objectives, score more points, and in the end, win the game. Sure, Call of Duty does have objective-based game mode, but it's not like you can hide in the corner of a B-flag in Domination, or even in a hardpoint, so there's little incentive to play stealthily and avoid combat. In Battlefield though, you can choose to work in the shadows, and capture points without firing a shot, to move around sporting your teammates with ammo and med packs and yet still get a high score without killing many enemies. Call of Duty, however, is much better when it comes to the mechanics of a gunfight. In Battlefield you often feel like a bull. Powerful, but without much finesse. Whereas in Call of Duty you're the matador, using speed and manoeuvrability to get the jump on your opponents. Team Deathmatch in Call of Duty, I think, is an unsurpassed first-person multiplayer experience. If you can become proficient with the weapons and movements, and get to know the maps and spawn points, you're guaranteed to have a great time. Practicing in Call of Duty is rewarded with better performance in an almost unconscious way. It's all about baking in that muscle memory and riding that wave of subconscious skill that helps you rise above the competition. What is hard to learn in Call of Duty though is patience and tactical awareness. Everything is happening so fast and even if you do die, it doesn't really matter because you can be back in the action in a couple of seconds. In Battlefield though, you get killed and unless a teammate revives you with a defib, you can have a considerable wait before you can get back into the action, taking on the enemies or capturing that objective. So if you want to enjoy Battlefield and not experience it as a running and dying simulator, you need to slow down and think a little harder before you dive into the action. And you can bring those learnings across to Call of Duty and be a much more considered player there too. Okay, so that's enough from me. Please put any questions or comments down below. Hit like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of the same. Thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Kills. UAV priority request received. Rerouting. Enemy down.
on standby. Get back it's incoming.